So the green roof uh, up above us here is made up of a special mix that I created when I was at UNL of crumb rubber, biochar, and compost, all recycled products, and all very lightweight when compared with your typical heat expanded shale and clay. That allows us in this particular roof to have a deep profile that is perfect for some of our native plants and the roof has been planted totally to native grasses, forbs, and uh, sedges. The, the green roof has been built in tandem or in, in triplet with a green wall and a rainwater garden. The green wall drains into a guttering system that then is taken down and flows into the rainwater garden. The green wall is drip irrigated and excess moisture also flows into the rainwater garden. The green roof is a typical green roof in that it allows moisture to move or water to move through it vertically fairly quickly. If you don't do that, the weight builds up and it can impose weight limits on the structure. Uh, the water is then picked up by a horizontal uh, drainage system and then taken to the edge. And you can see the slots in the, uh, the end there that allows water then to drain into the, uh, uh, the gutters. This particular green roof has uh, suffered a little bit in the drought this summer, and that's why we irrigate it. Green roofs are limited in where they can get moisture. Unlike our native prairies that have deep roots, this has a limited amount of water that's available, so we have to be able to supplement it. It doesn't have to be very watered every day, but in a dry period, maybe every couple of weeks. So the plants that we used up here are all native plants, native grasses and forbs, but the way that they were put in was rather unique. First of all, the grasses were seeded in and then the forbs were plugged in as 32s. And that's worked very well because the grasses uh, germinate very quickly. We also tried a few with little less success seeding in of forbs. But what we see up here is really two years growth. It's been through two growth seasons, including this one. So it's, it's doing quite well. And we have some tall grasses as well as some shorter ones, and, and uh, it's really worked quite effectively. For those that might be thinking about uh, green roof, we had the luxury of starting from the get-go on the workshop and we could build the structure for it. Using the lightweight mix, we could anticipate doing a retrofit on existing roofs. A lot of things to take into account though, and the first one is loading. You have to have the structure and the foundation that's able to take additional loading because when it gets wet, even though it drains quickly, it does weigh more than your typical roof.